Hey nerds, welcome back to CW's Flash, Theories and Conspiracies. I'm Brian from Good Nerd, Bad Nerd. And this week, the show finally did what we've been waiting for them to do. They came out and we, we finally have Cisco Ramon confirmed as Vibe. Officially, um, he, you know, he got outed by Harrison Wells that he did have these powers, but it's, uh, it's, it's just great that it's finally happening, that we can finally see him and now that hopefully he can finally embrace that character and we can really get more into who uh, Vibe is. But this episode had some really interesting things about uh, foreshadowing with what's going to happen and then just, you know, the, the amazing and fun character of Dr. Light. Um, but first the foreshadowing. Uh, Caitlin, was, when they were talking about um, Linda, you know, turning bad or anything like that in, in relation to Cisco feeling like um, so much bad came out of the, uh, the, the, the explosion of the reactor that he didn't want to be a bad guy. Caitlin says, I don't think any of us would go evil if, even if we were given powers. Well, this is clearly foreshadowing that we will be getting Killer Frost, which is Caitlin, and it'll most likely be the Earth 2 version, which is really going to throw uh, probably Cisco into a, a moment of, of doubt and something that he'll have to over, overcome. But Caitlin's line there was very telling, and um, we will be s seeing Killer Frost very, very soon. Next, Dr. Light. Now, the Dr. Light we had on the show is really very different from any of the Dr. Lights we have in the comics. Um, there are three different characters who go by the name of Dr. Light. Um, there's the, obviously, the main one, um, who is a man by the name of Arthur Light. And then there's a, a female Dr. Light who is uh, Kimio Hoshi. Now, Arthur is the main one that everyone refers to. Uh, there was a third one, but he's, um, uh, you know, in our tribal of Dr. Midnight, and he's not as uh, in the comics as the other two. So, uh, Arthur Light is the main one, and he is a light manipulator with the ability to control light from a variety of purposes. He can bend light around him to become invisible. He can generate blasts of energy, create force fields, and fly. Um, you know, there's a lot of powers there that our Dr. Light didn't have. The female character is, is uh, Hoshi. She is straight up a hero. Um, Arthur Light is, he's gone back and forth. He's been a villain sometimes. He's been a hero sometimes. Generally associated with a villain. Um, and all of them kind of have that light manipulation ability. So they've kind of, I think, combined characters to make this new Dr. Light. They really wanted to have it be someone that the team knew, and that's why they went with Linda, and did anyone else like the scene where it was Iris, Linda, and Patty all hanging out there with Barry at the crime scene, and it was like, did Barry not feel awkward there? These were the, the, the three most important women in his life at the time, or the, you know, his three love interests, and they were all hanging out, and Patty and Linda walk off together. Maybe I'm the only one who saw that, but anyway, so Dr. Light, um, you know, a character that's been around for a very long time, and so hopefully we'll get more next week because we know uh, they're going to use the Dr. Light character as a trap for Zoom. Now, the one thing we didn't get any real clarification on is why the Earth-2 versions have to kill their Earth-1 version. They, all, they, all, the, all we got was that they can't exist in the same plane for too long. So that's probably going to come up, and they're going to have to either send Linda back or find out a way to stabilize whatever's happening. Who knows? So that takes us to Wells. He obviously doesn't have that problem because he's the only Harrison Wells on this earth. But we didn't know why he was here and we finally found out in the final moments of the episode Zoom has his daughter. Um, a daughter he did not have in Earth 1. But Harrison Wells is here either to get Barry to kill Zoom or, on the off chance Barry is unable to, Harrison Wells might be there to take care of Barry himself. Like he said, you, you don't know what Zoom is capable of or what people are willing to do when they are under the control of Zoom. This was the, the big debate that Wells and uh, Garrick had, is that Jay Garrick wanted Barry to talk to Dr. Light. Um, she wasn't a bad person, all this, but Wells was like, you don't know what people are willing to do. And clearly, he's talking about himself there. We don't know what he's willing to do to save his daughter or what Zoom will make him do to save his daughter. So those are the, the big questions and, and really what's going on with Harrison Wells. 
Uh, and then lastly, we finally meet our Hawk Girl. If you didn't know and you didn't catch it, uh, Cisco's new lady love, Kendra Saunders, who was working at the Jitters, she will be going on to be Hawk Girl in Legends of Tomorrow. Um, Kendra Saunders, uh, she is one of many people who have played the role of Hawk Girl in the comics. Uh, I think three people have been the role. Uh, Shire is the most well known. There are two different backgrounds for her. Uh, if, so at the moment, we don't know if they're going with the uh, pre New 52 origin or her Earth 2 uh, origin from the New 52. So it'll be interesting. In one, there's issues of reincarnation and the soul of Shira coming into Kendra. In another, she's kind of a treasure hunter who found this stuff. Um, most likely, it's going to be a treasure hunter or something along those lines. But you never know. They may go down the road that there are actually alien artifacts, the Thanagarian inth metal, things like that. Um, she was playing with her necklace, so it'll be interesting to see what that is. Clearly, it is something from home. All she kept saying was she's new in town, a long way from home. These could be uh, shout-outs to Thanagar or something, or maybe she is a, a breacher. And as, uh, as soon as she got here, she found a cover working at a coffee shop. So what do you guys think? Are you happy? that they have finally come out and said Cisco is vibe. And what do you think about Dr. Light and why is Wells, what is his end game? Is he gonna turn on the team? Is he, is Wells always going to be out for himself and always a, a thorn in Barry's side? We will see. Uh, but until next week, this has been Brian from Good Nerd Bad Nerd and this has been CW's Flash, Theories and Conspiracies.